What is good, you guys? Welcome back to the Heat Report. And the Miami Heat have won against the Oklahoma City Thunder and have produced one of the most complete performances I have ever seen from a Miami Heat team. Um, and no, I'm not exaggerating. I've, I've been watching the Miami Heat for a long time, and this was pretty much a flawless performance. Um, much needed response. The, one of the best responses you could ask for after that disappointment against Dallas. I, I don't think you can, you know... Um, point out a single player on the Miami Heat and say that they played bad. Like that's how great of a performance it was. Um it was it was just a flawless performance, very complete performance. Um before we even dive into the analysis, I uh, just want to make sure you, uh I let you know that guys uh leave a like and subscribe because we are almost at 250 subscribers. So let's hit that 250 mark. Um and if you're not subscribed, you're really missing out, man. Join the community cuz we're going to be dropping bangers uh, almost every day. Um whenever the Heat have a game, or whenever there's any like heat related news i will be here to cover it for you guys so um make sure you guys drop a like subscribe and comment down below what your thoughts were on the game let's get into the video so the first thing that i noticed was the new starting lineup um i asked all of you guys in the previous video what what who do you think our power forward should be and a couple of you said olenic in the comments below and uh, kelly olenic did start and i was actually saying this you know I think it might have been in the reaction of the Dallas game or the Milwaukee game. I said, "What if we start Kelly Olynyk?" Because um, I thought him and Bam really worked to get uh, worked well together. And the interesting thing about Kelly Olynyk is that before you know that Thunder game, he had played every single minute of the fourth quarter against in both the games against the Bucks and against the Mavericks. So Spoke clearly trusted him to play in that fourth quarter in those in those fourth quarter minutes. Um, and when we put in Kelly Olynyk into our starting lineup, we are sacrificing some defense for some offense. That's that's how I see it as. Um, and I think that was much needed because I don't think our defense against Dallas was bad or anything. I just thought that our offense was terrible. So we needed someone to, you know, like inserting Kelly Olynyk and taking out Iguodala just just eggs. It just take took out the defense, but you know, added much more offense. So I thought that was very helpful to have, especially because Kelly Linick is a guy that's a very streaky shooter. So when he's hot, like there's not there's not that many people that can stop him. We all know about Game Seven Kelly. Um, obviously he was with the Celtics then, but that's still you know that's still the case. Like here, like we we saw there was a game in the bubble against the Nuggets where he had like 20 points in the fourth quarter. So he has the capability of just you know going off on any given night. Um, and that it's, it's, it's very helpful to have that on our team. And he's not just a three point shooter. Like he does a lot of the things, you know, the, the dribble handoff actions like Bam does. He, you know, he, he can, he can keep the dribble handoffs and, uh, and go to the rim. Uh, he's very mobile for, you know, his, his size. That's, I noticed that about him. He's very mobile. Um, and he's always like at the right place uh, at the right time in the right place at the right time And I think that's very helpful for guys like Jimmy and Bam who are slashing That's what they said in their post-match interview Bam said, you know, me and Jimmy are slashers So having three shooters on the court is very helpful because they're always at the, in the right place at the right time So that's why it makes our starting lineup um, so potent And uh, if you guys saw the box score, I mean Four out of the five players in the starting lineup put up, put up you know, double, uh, double figures in points And Tyler had a near triple double, even though he didn't hit 10 points, seven points, eight rebounds, or eight assists and nine rebounds. He's really becoming a very well-rounded player, Tyler. Um, and I love to see that about him, especially with the assists, because he is our point guard, quote unquote. So he, we we want him to distribute the ball, facilitate the ball, and he's doing a very good job of that um, recently. And his rebounding, we all know, like since that 15 rebound game, we all know he was capable of rebounding. Even in the bubble, he was rebounding really well. Um, so I thought everyone really, I thought everyone played well. I thought we got very good contributions off the bench as well. Um, and we defended, I thought, you know, we defended really well um, on the Thunder. Um, we held them to, you know, 27% from three. I, I said they were, you know, not the best three-point shooting team. They do most of their damage in the paint. Um, and, you know, it, it, there was a point, like, in the second half, I think it might have been in the fourth quarter, where um, it was announced that um, the Thunder, after shooting 40%, in the paint in the first half they we we held them to zero percent in the second half so we were basically just forcing them to take threes and that's what they were doing they were just jacking up threes and i mean it, we, we just played really good defense on the thunder um 30 37 percent from the field um, all our three wins this season have been when we have held the opponent to 40 percent from the field or below 
um, against the Pelicans, it was the case. Against the Bucks, the second game against the Bucks, it was the case. And against the Thunder, you see below 37%. Very good effort from the defense. Um, we also out-rebounded them by 11. Um, rebounds has been, you know, uh, an, an issue for us in the past, but I think we've, we've, we figured that out. We have two bigs who can both rebound the ball. Tyler's a great rebounder. Jimmy can rebound. Um, so we, 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 got, we got a lot of, you know, rebound second chance points um 14 more assists which is insane to me we need to get back to that assist um the, the team that you know makes a lot of assists we, i think we were top five in assists last year um but the big thing to me was the turnovers only 14 for the miami heat whereas you know we have been you know i think since or until the thunder game we were first in the league and turning the ball over with over 18 a game so to limit it to just 14 especially after having six in the first quarter um is a very good achievement um i think that you know Spo clearly you know is, has figured out our offensive rhythm you know everyone has figured out the offensive you know s scheme and stuff like that so it's it's made it easier you know everyone's just been you know keeping it simple even tyler said like the emphasis was on keeping it simple instead of you know making the killer pass or doing something extraordinary just just keep it simple and i think that's what we have been doing um shay you know for the thunder he he had his usual night 18 points um and apart from that you know darius basley gave him 16 and 8 i really liked his play i, I like darius basley a lot I, I don't know if you guys was were watching darius basley but um since you know he was supposed to go to syracuse and uh since he like he, he decommitted from college i was really interested and Darius Baisley, um, and after seeing his play, you know, uh, a couple times last year, I thought he he reminded me of a Lamar Odom, and you can see Darius Baisley, he he has a bright future in the league. I thought Lou Dort has improved his offensive game, so th those three were really like the key performers for them. I mean, and after that, no one really stepped up. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, Diallo had nine points, but apart from that, like they didn't really get that that many like that much contributions from like anyone else um so i thought we did a great job defending uh their guys even like shay he didn't really have like a 20 point game or anything he just had his he didn't he didn't go above you know what he's what he's you know used to so we we limited it we limited him to just his average amount of, amount of points um 18 points so um great job offensively great job defensively great job but um I want I want you guys to you know let me know let me know down in the comments below what do you think of this starting lineup in the future do you think we should continue with this because I think yes it's great offensively um but I don't know like because we were having the only concern with me about putting Kelly into the starting lineup is for defenses defensive purposes um because he can't shoot the three but he's not really like a he's he, he's a defensive liability at times like there was a time where Al Horford his only two points of the game were when Kelly, like, he fell asleep and Al Horford got an easy layup. But, um, I think that, like, against the team, like, we're about to play the Celtics right now. Do you think we should have Kelly in the starting lineup? Because they do have Jason Tatum at the four. Um, and Kelly Olynyk is currently our four. And I wanted to see Bam guard Darius Baisley and Kelly guard Al Horford because I don't think Al Horford is, like, he's, Darius Baisley is much more mobile, so... Bam can keep up with him better, and he's like a way better defender than Kelly. So, I think that. Um, but Spo, I mean Spo, put Bam on Al Horford and put Kelly on Darius Baisley, and I don't know. If, I don't know if he's gonna put Kelly on Jason Tatum because if he is, he's gonna he's gonna get cooked because Jason Tatum is coming, bro. He's an MVP candidate this year. So I don't know how the starting lineup is gonna work for defensive purposes, especially when that other the opposing the opposing team has you know a very um, strong front court. Because, I, I, yeah, I, I don't know. Especially, like, with, with the power forward being very mobile. Like, if we, if we were to play the Pelicans again, like, would we have Bam on Zion and have Kelly on Steven Adams? I don't know. We'll have to see how this works out for defensive purposes. But I think offensively, it's very potent. Um, and that's the reason we, you know, we were able to turn this around. Because we found our offense um, while keeping the same defensive intensity. But let's get into the player ratings. So, obviously, Tyler Hero. Um our point guard seven points eight assists nine rebounds great game for tyler i'm gonna give him a um i'm gonna give him a solid seven out of ten six being average he had a he had a pretty he had a number of average game very good game um you know it's pretty hard for him to score there was there was a lot of defensive attention on him he had lou dort on him so 
um that's a very tough matchup um having Lou Dort on you so but I think you know even when he wasn't scoring the ball he he contributed in, in a lot of different ways so Tyler 7 out of 10 for me Duncan um same thing 7 out of 10 for me I, I said Duncan was you know the the key of the game um the, the key player of the game in my preview because I wanted to see him get going after his shooting slump and um he, he looks like he's back now um I knew I kind of like figured that the OKC Thunder would give him a lot of clean looks, especially because I was surprised to see Lou Dort not on him because whoever Lou Dort was on, I knew that they would probably not be scoring as much. Um, but the OKC Thunder elected to put Lou Dort on Tyler and put George Hill on Duncan. So and George Hill isn't the best defender. So Duncan kind of, you know, got a lot of clean looks from three and he made them pay on four occasions. He he, he, he hit four threes. Um, and he even got three assists, four rebounds. Good performance for Duncan. Jimmy, I want to, I want to, I want to give Jimmy a lot of props. You know, like as as players, you're gonna get the criticism when you don't play well. But when you play well, you're gonna get the praise, and he deserves the praise because and he we saw like the the thing that I loved about this game is that from the start, the first two baskets were scored by Jimmy Butler. And that kind of showed like a sign of intent to me. Like, okay, this guy is he he's he's here. He's he's more aggressive than he was against the Mavericks. Um, and I don't know if th those were designed plays to get him going or he he wanted to you know just be more aggressive himself. But either way, it doesn't matter to me because he had 18 points, six assists, and three rebounds. A very Jimmy Butler type game. Um, and he didn't even play that many minutes. He only played 26 minutes. So um, great game for Jimmy absolutely amazing game for jimmy I, I i really liked how jimmy played um i'm gonna give him i'm gonna give jimmy um i'm gonna give jimmy and i'm gonna give jimmy an eight out of ten um and i'm gonna i'm gonna give the same score to kelly olenic 19 points eight rebounds um it's very tough to you know go from you know just being off just being a spark plug off the bench to being a starter and i thought kelly fit in really well um you know, I, I mean, it's there's always going to be question marks about his defense, but I think offensively he's pre he provides a lot, and maybe Spo has found his starting lineup for the future. And uh, great performance by Kelly, especially in that third quarter when he was just raining those threes. Um, um, same, Bam out of bio, same thing. And the thing about Bam is that Bam, he has probably been our best player this season. It's either him or Goran, but I'll probably say Bam because Bam has been a little bit more consistent for me. Um, 20 points, 8 rebounds, 4, four assists. I'm, I'm going to give him an 8.5, actually. MVP of the game, Bam Adebayo. Um, amazing game for Bam. There was Lob City out there. Absolutely obliterated Mike Muscala. I don't know what he was doing trying to jump against Bam. Um, but, I mean, yeah, that, that's what you're going to get from Bam. You're going to get energy, hustle. He was 5 for 5 in the or 6 for 6 in the first half, 5 for 5. One of the two. Maybe it was the first quarter. Or, I don't know. But Bam Adebayo, amazing game. Um, you know, he's, he's definitely in the conversation, not in the conversation. He better be an all-star this year, um, because he was an all-star last year. Um, and I, I said it before the season, I wanted him to take a step. I wanted him to become a top three center. He's on the way to doing that. So great game by Bam. Goran Dragic off the bench. Didn't really get going scoring wise, but with Goran, he's becoming a facilitator, man. He's becoming a Steve Nash type player off the bench. Very good. Not, not on that level. Don't want to dis disrespect Steve Nash, but Goran Dragic is becoming a very good facilitator off the bench. Um, seven assists, seven points. Great game for Goran. I'm gonna give him a 6.5 out of 10, above average game. Um, and I think, I, but I think he can. I think he can do better as far as scoring the ball. Precious, same score. Um, I think that Precious, you know, scoring wise, wasn't the best, but I think Precious might be our best rebounder um, on the team. And that's tough to say, but I mean, he had seven rebounds. In 20 minutes like uh, uh, precious is a very good player bro like I, I again that's stupid of me to say because obviously you guys know that but um he just looks so good he looks his energy is insane like the way he rebounds the ball is insane um he's just very raw like scoring the ball but rebounding he has all the tools Iguodala, great performance by andre off the bench he had a couple deflections couple steals um took a took a charge i believe um in the in the first half and now he hit three threes when you're when you when Andre Iguodala hits three threes off the bench you're you're in good shape so six out of ten for Andre good game um Avery Bradley now is it just me 
Or does Avery Bradley remind you guys of a Jay Crowder, but like a guard version of Jay Crowder? Because that's what Avery Bradley reminds me of. He's a very good defender, and he can, you know, he, he whenever he's like open for three, I'm assuming, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming he's gonna make it. He's a very good shooter, and that's what Jay Crowder was. But, but he was at the power forward. I think Avery Bradley obviously is a guard, but I think he's, he's, in a way, he's a Jay Crowder replacement at the guard position. That's what I want to classify Avery Bradley as. Um, another great game for Avery. Um, eight points, stellar defense um, on. I don't know who he defended off the bench, but um, I think it might have been Theo Mallard or something. But he was it was a, it was a great game for Avery. Six out of ten. Um, you know he didn't have a he didn't have a bad game. Um, but eight points, you know, always contributes to us uh, winning the game. Mo Harkless, um, Kendrick Nunn, KZ, and Chris Silva. I'm not really gonna give them you know anything more than a six because they don't really show enough for me. I thought Kendrick did pretty well in his um, six minutes. I, th- I think I want to see Kendrick a little bit more. I want to see. Um, if Kendrick can, um, if, if he, if he can, you know, burst into that rotation, it's very tough from being a second, you know, place rookie of the year voting in, in second place rookie of the year voting to a guy that's not even in the rotation. I think out of those, those four Kendrick and Casey are the two guys that I want to see a little bit more. Um, Mo Harkless just hasn't found his footing yet. Crystal, but I thought had some great energy, five rebounds in five minutes. Um, he looks like a UD 2.0 Chris Silva. He looks like a very, very uh, great energy player to have. Um, but overall, great performance, guys. Um, and hopefully, hopefully we can keep this up against the Boston Celtics. That's going to be a tough game. They're off, you know, a great win against the Toronto Raptors. And we're going to have to do well to stop them. But that's going to be it for me, guys. I'll see you guys later. Hit that like and subscribe button. Comment down below what you guys thought about this game. My Twitter and my podcast will be down below um, in the description. Make sure you guys hit those up. I'll see you guys later.